we showed a translation workflow from Zookin to ANSYS using an ANF file. Now we'll translate this board using an ANSYS EDB file. Please note that you need to have the ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite, version R17 or higher, installed on your machine before you can use the EDB function in Zookin. In the EDB flow, you can transfer information about ports, boundary definitions, and simulation control parameters to ANSYS. This is not possible in the older ANF flow. Also, any changes that you make in ANSYS HFSS 3D layout or ANSYS SIWAVE can be translated back to Zookin through EDB. Zookin's Design for CR8000 offers some choices for the EDB export. You can export the entire board with all of its geometry to an EDB file, or just a portion of it. When exporting a part of the layout, you can manually choose an area or auto-generate the region to translate. In any case, you need to specify the signals and the layers you want to export. We'll export the full board to an EDB file. Later, we'll show the method to specify a subregion to translate. In Design for CR8000, bring up the Export ANSYS EDB dialog. Specify a folder to output the EDB. You'll notice there are several options you can choose. The Output Resist Layers option will add a solder resist layer to the top and bottom sides. You can output a layer of air to the top and bottom layer. Mesh Plane by True Shape exports a meshed plane as an area fill with mesh. Merge Figures will merge area fills and lines and outputs the result as an area fill. This option exports diodes connected between the signal layer and ground as capacitors, while the diodes connected between signals are output as zero ohm resistors. You can output a component with a specified reference header as a zero ohm resistor. This option substitutes component part names with the value of the specified attribute. When the power option is set to on, the selected nets are tagged as power and ground nets on export. If set to off, the selected nets are treated as signal nets. Specify output signals lets you edit this list. Filter the list by E nets, differential pairs, or the power and ground nets. Press ALL to include all the nets for export. Click the Port to Output ellipsis. You can assign a port, a PEC boundary, or an RLC boundary to the specified terminal, and output the data to an EDB file. The resistance, inductance, or capacitance value can be set to RLC boundary. Though you can configure simulation options for running an analysis of this board in ANSYS prior to translation, it's usually best to set simulation options within ANSYS. This is because you can add multiple analysis setups and also take advantage of other or new simulation options within the ANSYS tools. Choose the layers you want to export to EDB from this Output Layer option. I'll select all the eight conductors. Press the Execute button to start the translation. Design Force notifies you after the translation is complete. Exit this dialog. Open ANSYS SI Wave. Go to the Import tab. Click the ANSYS EDB option. Select the folder with the extension .aedb. Import this AEDB folder. We'll import all 637 nets. Press the Import Configuration button. Unhide the board with all its details. Open the Layer Stackup Editor. Let's compare this stackup with Zookin. All the layers came in correctly in SI Wave. As expected, there are 8 conductors, 7 dielectric layers, 2 resist, and 2 air layers in SI Wave. The thicknesses, material properties, and dielectric constants match for all the layers across both ANSYS SI Wave and Zookin Design for CR8000. Clearly, the translation was accurate. Let's check a few of the passive devices. R167 is 1 kilo ohms. R113 is 10 ohms. R129 is 0.5 ohms. Open the capacitors. C210 is 68 picofarads. C142 is 0.1 nanofarads. C112 is 22 picofarads. As for the inductors, L1 is 1 microhenry. L6 is 2 microhenries. So the component values appear to be correct. To export just certain nets to an EDB file, type in the signal name. For example, enter PCIe, select all the PCIe nets, and include them in the signal list. Now if you right-click and select Execute from the shortcut menu, 
the PCB is exported to an EDB file with the PCIe nets and the default nets. To export only a region of the board with these PCIe differential pairs, use the Auto Generate option. After selecting the signals, right click and specify polygon or rectangle as your area mode. Hit the Auto Generate Area button. To find an offset distance for the polygon surrounding the PCIe nets, right click and select Execute to export the polygon region containing the PCIe nets and the default nets to EDB. Alternatively, draw this polygon or rectangle manually. Right click and select Data End to complete the polygon. Here is the auto generated cutout board after translating to SI Wave. A point to note here is that ANSYS SI Wave also offers a lot of flexibility to easily perform editing operations, such as auto generating plane extents, drawing polygons for extracting sub designs, and many other features. So if you want, you can import the full design to SI Wave first and edit the board before running an analysis. This concludes this demo. In the next demo, we'll import the EDB and ANF files from Zookin into Antifa's 3D layout and space claim.